So yeah, again, from the title, you can see this is um, one that's perhaps not one of my favourite notes again. Although I can quite like it in um, fragrance. And I, as we know, lavender can be many different things. It can be kind of sweeter and uh, kind of more purple floral smelling. It can be very herbaceous and dry. Um, it can be quite bitter, it can be a little bit green, can't it? It's a, it's an interesting note. Um, and there's obviously lots of different kind of styles and um, ways it's done. And it, it, it works with some notes really well. And it's, um, yeah, I find it quite a, quite an interesting note. We also, obviously with it being a lot of fougeres, we see it as being quite old school though it, it is being more and more done in a more modern way isn't it um, yeah so not my favourite note in the world although there are plenty of fragrance well it's a very commonly used note and sometimes um, some of the obviously these fragrances I actually really enjoy and it's, it's a good part of it so yeah let's crack on so first up is um, is Pendragon's Heart, and that's from Mirad's par Parfums, which is Fab Trends Mia. Now, I may have spoken about this one with uh, tobacco, possibly. If I don't tobacco, have I probably don't remember doing that. But anyway, um, it is predominantly tobacco and all them kind of different parts of it. But lavender and tobacco are, go together like in a perfect marriage because tobacco... Um, whether it's the drier, kind of more golden, um, beautiful tobacco, or a kind of dense, damp, kind of sticky pipe tobacco, the lavender gives it this kind of lift and a bit of a kind of sweetness. Uh, and in this one, it is kind of a more herby one, but more more on the sweet side of it. And that just goes so well with the tobacco. Um, and it, it lifts the fragrance, adds a nice bit of the, the sweetness. And I also think, because a lot of us have tobacco associations with uh, grandparents and such like, that'll be even more so as the future goes on, doesn't it? That the, Maybe the, that's why we kind of associate and like the lavender with it, because they'd be wearing lavender perfumes, um, you know, whilst smoking their pipes and stuff. So, yeah. And this one, like I say, is, it's all about the tobacco, different levels of tobacco, different kind of um, feelings from it. And it's, it's like dark and it's rich and it's it's just a really nice one. So that is uh, from Mirad's Parfums, um, Pen Pendragon's Heart. Next is a um, visionary eye from Juice Box. Uh, this is obviously a nod to um, the great uh, David Bowie, and this one has similarities, but is definitely not the same as things like um, Reflection Man. It's a very kind of elegant, classy, iris, jasmine kind of fragrance. Um, with a kind of aromatic feel. It just, I would think anyone could suit this. It's just very clean, very white shirt, very elegant. The the, the iris and the oris, whatever, had a kind of powdery, crumbly feel to it. But ultimately, it's just very clean and, and what have you. And um, lavender in this, I think it's clary sage in, in the, the versions of or whatever. But lavender in this, like um, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal, it's done in this kind of modern, clean, sweet vein running through it. And it adds that kind of, I suppose it adds to the cleanness because obviously lavender um, is, you know, quite a medicinal herb, isn't it? And it's, it's something we associate with it and it just adds the bit of sweetness in there because you know, Oris and um, the woods and things aren't particularly sweet, are they? Um, well, Jasmine has a nice sweetness there. The, the lavender adds this kind of purple and a breath of fresh air through it as well, I think. And it's just a very good, very classy fragrance. So that's uh, 
visionary eye from uh, juice box finally is of course the designer um, now in modern times let's get real lavender is associated with an eskirimi whatever but that's how, how it's associated and um, Mongolan is the one I've gone for from Galan um, uh, yeah it's um it's what it's the main note it's, it's vanilla and lavender ultimately there's lots of other stuff going in it was kind of this very modern style the vanilla makes it almost gourmandy and um, if you've had lavender flavored um, goods the the, la the lavender is very strong isn't it but you know you can get lavender flavored custard and um, biscuits and things like that and this way it kind of leans itself to still perfumey don't don't forget it's galan so it's got all your galan usual suspects in it but it's ultimately this kind of smooth warming clean again cool it's a cool fragrance um with the lavender kind of running through it nicely just to kind of uh give a bit of something something fresh and, and, and warm and sweet about it and it just all comes together really nicely now there are some flankers to this which are good as well but this is kind of the one i really like and it's kind of a love hate one this i think it's you know 50 50 split if you like i don't think there's any in between and um i like it it's very easy very elegant it goes without saying it is absolutely for anyone who wears it it's lavender and vanilla how is that remotely feminine or masculine so don't listen to nonsense like that go try it yourself it's lovely mongolan from galan so aye yeah, that was my very quick um lavender trio like i say i'm not really a huge lavender fan and um in real life for me i associate it with um what's the word mortuaries and um i want to say anointing that's not the right word brain's not working embalming um it's an embalming fluid flavor isn't it um and i've obviously had family who've worked in the business and stuff it's it's um that association with me i think and it's used well it was back in the day in old people's home and stuff to kind of mask the smell of um death so it has them kind of associations with me which is probably one of the reasons i struggle so much with it but all in all it's kind of it's a note that you can enjoy it's just again don't write notes off because you don't like a certain one go try them all anyway i'm waffling what about yourself what's your favorite um lavender fragrance do you have a particular type of lavender you like or just can you absolutely not stand it also what are your associations with lavender because there's there's mine isn't there but there's also it can remind you of um more mature people elderly people because of them kind of fougere feels or you know it can remind you of the great outdoors i mean there's lavender farming near where i'm from in the peak districts and stuff so there's you know there's all sorts of associations you can have with it in there anyway i'm waffling thanks folks bye